always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great night, folks. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Create new agreements based on respect and love. Take the responsibility to make new agreements with those you love. If an agreement doesn't work, change the agreement, create a new one, and use your imagination to explore all the possibilities. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 60, NASDAQ up 133, SP's up 22, gold contract down $16, trading $17.72 an ounce, silver flat $23.50 an ounce, light sweet crude down $385. $80, 6 cents a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year note down eight ticks, trading 130.22. The 30 year off 19 at 160.06 and King Dollar. King Dollar's down 167 ticks, trading 93.925. Euro is at 116. The yen is at 114.02. And the British pound is at 136 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, we're all all-time highs. You just had the Fed come out with their statement. You got Powell up there uh, with his news conference right now. Bottom line, folks, okay, zero rates are staying. They're, they're going to start their tapering at $15 billion, uh, a month at the end of uh, November. And what happens here, folks, is this, is that they've been buying $120 billion a month. They're going to bring that down to a 105 a month, okay? What's going on is that the, our own Treasury is going to be basically sending out less. Uh, well, they're going to taper at 15 billion. The Treasury looks like it's going to do less, doing less than 12 billion, meaning that they're not putting out in the marketplace. So the bottom line, the supply and demand equation is not going to change. That's the first part. The second part is, you know, I was listening to this news conference. It's it's really amazing to me. I mean. The bottom line is that they are sticking, you saw a picture what happens too. In the statement, folks, okay, the statement has to do with all the Federal Reserve governors putting that together. That's just not a Powell deal, okay? So the thing that is amazing about the statement more than anything is that they're thinking that it's still transitory, um, that, that the reason that inflation is out here is that because of the bottlenecks, OK. Um, and the pandemic. I don't. It's not my take on it. Not even close either. <laughs> um, you know, there's no doubt that the bottlenecks have raised prices. But I would say this is more about. When the pandemic happened. People, all peoples have their minds have changed as to what is important in life for them. Plenty of them. Don't want to work. That's the bottom line. And hey, listen, man, you know, you can get along without working. It's a beautiful thing. There's, there's no doubt about that. Bottom line, inflation is here in spades. In fact, you know, we've been talking about the deer. So, so watch how wild this is, man. So deer, you know, they, they, they're, they're on strike. The stock's down $15 today. It was probably up $15 yesterday. Let me see this. Yeah, so what happened is that, yeah, we, two days ago we were trading at uh, 365, today at 340. Um, so Deer, their employees, bottom line, said no to the deal that's on the table. So that, what that is, what, what's going to happen there is that and the, 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 the structure inside of their raises was pretty good. <laughs> There's no, it was, was $8,500 just to go back to work. Um, th there were some good raises in there. That's the bottom line. We will see that go up, and it is raging out here. So you can just see how insulated, uh, basically, they are. Um, and, you know, one of the uh, Tiger Jeff from uh, New York is saying out there that he's missing the forest through the trees. So right before I was coming on the air, I heard the last question. Uh, and with the, with, it was Steve Leisman from uh, CNBC. And what he was saying, he was asking specifically that, if you're trying to get to full unemployment, but yet inflation is raging, um, those are two opposites that basically, you know, as inflation's raging, you're basically hurting everyone that is a saver, that's for sure. Um, and so they asked Paul about it. The bottom line is that they, the Fed, wants more jobs out here. If I've learned anything, um, in the last couple 
uh, Fed statements out here, stick to the statement. The statement he's been saying all along that the bottom line is that they're looking for 3% inflation, man. I think it's, I don't know where they're getting their freaking numbers, but the bottom line is more than 3 They're, they're at 3%. They're not, they're not going up on these rates, man. That's the bottom line. This thing, they're going to let this thing run. And then uh, the real question is going to be is like, how do you stop it? And it is what it is. 877-927-6648. Let's go take a look at some of the uh, higher volume equities out here today inside of the market. You got Bed Bath & Beyond. That's up 3 bucks. That was up a lot more than $3 this morning. Um, you get Ford Motor up $0.75. Cents. Zillow's down 23 Zillow really blew it. You know, we... We'll talk about that in a few minutes. Uh, Apple's up a buck twenty-three. You get Uber Technologies up two eighty-four. Uh, Macy's up a buck ninety. You get Tesla up twenty-nine uh, dollars. And let's go over to Zillow. Uh, so Zillow, the bottom line, and this was a case that there's no doubt that uh, humans. This is one case that humans are much smarter than computers, folks. Okay, um, you know I talked about this before when they came in the business. It was like you got to be kidding me, man. <laughs> um, you know. It, for, for what, from the very beginning of their business, they were losing money on, I don't think they ever made money on a house they ever bought. And they definitely drove markets. They, they were in 20 markets, folks, and they were driving markets and they were driving price. And what a lot of people were doing, they were using that price, okay, to turn around and basically get things bid up. Make, make a long story short, he's smart, basically cutting it. There's no two ways about that, um, you know, the house flipping business in general uh, is very is a very tough business. People think that it's a you know a high margin business. It is not a high margin business. Okay, it's not even close. Um, that being said, uh, <laughs> the computers <laughs> there is there is no doubt uh, that these computers just kept firing off buys and um, Zillow's in a monster ABC structure on the way down. So the the A point on this is one hundred and twenty four dollars. Your B point out here is uh, 83, so what, 17, 24, 34, 44, $41 A to B. That's going to give you a 60, oh, look at that, interesting, 61 bucks. But you know what's sticking out like a sore thumb, folks? $32. So 64 is first, though. 60, this kind of volume, 64 is first. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.